Our next contestant, contestant number eight, Yap Yulun. Let's live again. Let's live again. Yap Yulun. Hey you, stop using your phone. It's my turn to speak. Go oh, great, there's more of you. Now, all of you, stop using your phones. Whatever you're doing can wait. Your phones are taking over your lives. They're preventing you from pre completing your homework. They're preventing you from going outside. And they're preventing you from paying attention to me right now. Have you ever given a thought as to why we are so subconsciously glued to these lit up rectangles of ours? Well, I believe the main culprit is social media. Paul Burnham, one of my favourite comedians, once said, social media is just the market's answer to a generation that demanded to perform. And we sure do. We mindlessly curate and upload every single moment of our lives onto a cesspool of social media platforms to give Oscar-winning performances. But to who? An audience who really couldn't care less. Well, I mean, maybe some do, but who are we kidding? We're really not packing the theatres with our Insta stories, right? Well, then why? Why are we so addicted? I posit it is because social media provides a constant feedback loop, encouraging our attention-seeking habits. Five likes, two comments, one new follower request. Admit it, it makes you feel good. And then you continually crave for this satisfaction whenever you log into your accounts. It makes you feel scared that if you don't get likes or if you don't share your opinion, you won't know what's going on anymore and you fear not being relevant to your friends. May I just ask, who here went for Halloween Horror Nights? Awesome. So I sure did. But what stood out for me was not the fights that I got, but what my friend did during the, during the event. So, as usual, we waited an hour or so before entering our first haunted house, which then excessive shrieking ensued. But my friend, he was truly a class of his own. He went in, took videos in between shrieking, and then this is where it gets good. He literally stood in the middle of the haunted house to type a caption. Because nothing beats giving a live broadcast, right? He was surrounded by monsters of all sorts, unintimidated by them. While the rest of us were busy sprinting for the exit. <laughs> Could you imagine if this was actually the zombie apocalypse? He would be the fool who dies before everyone else just because, you know... Hey, wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, give me a second, I need to upload something. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't living. We aren't living. I too have become a victim of this too many times. Instead of enjoying concerts, I would take 10 second videos every 20 seconds for no good reason, not being able to remember anything other than, uh, it was good, I guess. And I did this time and again, chained to this harmful cycle. Through social media, we're only living an askew, second-handed experience. There is no need to incessantly snap everything we see before us, only to enjoy the moment when it's over to our own photos and videos. Guys, I hate to say this, but our teachers and parents are right. Let's put away our phones once in a while. Let's genuinely enjoy our time with our friends and family without a phone between us and their faces. Let's stop living our lives through screens. Let's start living again. Thank you.